Welcome to my channel, Main Street Orlando. My name is Josie, and today we're here at Disney's Epcot for the first day of the Flower and Garden Festival. Let's go. Mr. ML is here with us today. Welcome back, guys. You know, it is the first day of the Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Means. Yes. Just new merchandise, new merchandise here at Epcot. So of course we will start over at the creation shop. Before we go inside of the creation shop, I had to come to the World Celebration Garden and show you the Figment Topiary. All right, here we go, the creation shop. Orange Bird is the mascot for this festival, so of course, lots of Orange Bird merchandise. Look what Mr. ML has for us. <laughs> so it seems everyone was crowding this display of the lug bag, so it means it's a popular merch item. And Mr. ML went ahead and snatched, this, snatched one for us. It is $60, it is Orange Bird, a little crossbody is a nylon crossbody with the embroidery of the flower and garden festival 2024 and there's orange bird's face i love the orange color and let's see because these come with a design on the inside i'm gonna guess it's obviously oranges and orange bird hold on there we go of course they have matching lounge fly and lounge fly ears Let's check them out. The lounge fly ears are gorgeous. The bow has that orange peel texture, which is really cool. We have orange bird in a little flower pot, Epcot, Epcot Flower and Garden Festival 2024. And then a little print here. I see orange bird kind of dreaming of his orange life. I don't know. And uh, other little uh, elements here, even like a little flower seed pack. That is so cute. Here's the lounge fly plaque. And as you already know, lounge fly ears are $45. Here is the lounge fly and it features orange birds sticking out of the, oh wait, is this a pocket? It's a pocket. pocket. It's a double pocket because you also get the zipper pocket there. And this even has the little lining on the inside. That's pretty cool. He's sticking out of the flower pot. Wait. Wait. <laughs> he moves. I love it. He has the same print as the ears here. It is $88 and uh, the inside print is orange bird. I already got a little peek of it, I'm sorry. But it's orange bird. You see that? In his orange bird dreams kind of face. I just noticed. Look at the straps. They have oranges on them. I mean, it's very detailed. Hold on a second. He also peeks out like this. What? Fear not, if you are not an Orange Bird lover, they have Minnie Mouse merchandise, Coco, and everything, so stay tuned. For $23, they have an Orange Bird little plushie. He is not scented, I already checked. But wait, it's very interesting. I was like, why does he have that behind his head? Okay, he turns into a Spaceship Earth orange. Okay, this is not just any ordinary mug that we're used to every single year, every single festival. It has an orange squeezer, is that what you call it? Uh, we don't know. Anyhow, you can actually kind of rotate your orange, squeeze it and get fresh orange juice. Yes, that is nice. And it is $25. This looks like an orange carton, 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 juice, anyhow. But I think it's kind of like a little flower like where you put flour, like a little flower pot, right? I mean, what else would you, or would you put, would you pour fresh orange juice in there and drink from it? Would you, Mr. Emil says no. Would you guys, let me know in the comments, because maybe I would. Orange Bird, the Florida original, and even has nutrition facts. He's 100% sweet, by the way, and 100% cute. Oh, and he even has some vitamin C. That's awesome, $30. Solar powered lantern. And pretty much what it does is just give you those little figures, maybe against a wall or whatever. And look, here's like the little solar power 
panel for $35. For $125, we have a rain spooner button down shirt. And it has an orange bird, we got flowers, spaceship earth, and there's the little flower and garden tag there. And what's interesting, I was looking at their little flyer here and it says, the as spooners are the world's most collected Aloha shirts. We expect to see you soon, but they're the most collected Aloha shirts. That's interesting. the flower pot with orange bird and it has like a little orange on the side and this one does not have a little hole in the center so it could drain it. the water so if it's like a plant that doesn't require draining then this is a perfect little pot and it is $35 for $35 we got the little apron orange you glad you met me that's cute the tervis tumbler for 35 the original florida orange bird for $30 we got the hat with a tie-dye design orange bird the florida original and then here's embroidery for the flower and garden. I really like the tie-dye design. The t-shirt with even world showcase on the side for $40. And here's the logo. Of course, the spirit jersey, which by the way, I'm wearing an orange bird spirit jersey and I am sweating. Today's the first time in a long time that's like 80 degrees and it's not cold. So it's 85 right now, that's why I'm sweating. But anyhow, the original Florida orange bird and here he is. Oh, it looks just like the pot we just looked at the little flower pot that's cute and then even on the sleeves it has a little puffy design print of orange bird and oranges and spaceship orange <laughs> and uh what is the price it is 80 dollars. mr emma was very smart today you're wearing a t-shirt you're wearing <laughs> he's not sweating today and he wore the shirt because flash is wearing a flower shirt so he's wearing the flower shirt for you, right? For Zootopia. Uniqlo. Oh yeah, it was a Uniqlo shirt. Here is the t-shirt, orange, you glad you met me with orange bird. It's white, I'm scared of white t-shirts, but it looks like a little, a very fresh right now, as I'm very hot right now, but it feels very fresh for $35. We have the design that you see throughout the merchandise in this ornament, just all sculpted. I love it. In 3D, <laughs> and also it's in 3D, it's sculpted, $25. They have a lug bag, but I just saw something. It's a pass holder bag. You see that, Emil? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's themed to it's a bee. Yeah, so they also have a merchandise themed to a bee, a honeybee. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's an annual pass holder. So you do have to have your yeah, annual limited, pass. Limited one per a limited, item. oh, one per item per guest. Okay, so I'll show you the lug that is, I think the other one is also pass holder exclusive, by the way, but anyhow, this is so cute. And it is not a nylon one. It is actually fabric, 100 $125. This is the back design. Let's see the inside design. It is probably, oh, look at that. It's so yellow and flowers. This is the other bag for $135. It has lots of zippers and compartments here. Also pass holder for your phone. Mr. Emil always points this out. He's like, this is for your phone. I'm like, yes, yes it is. <laughs> and then look, it's not just a shoulder bag. You can actually use it as a backpack too. A mystery pin set. And it's not just Orange Bird guys, not just Orange Bird. We got lots of Disney characters. We got Scrump, Timon, Abu, Lumiere, Theodore, right? That's his name. Flower, Marie, Mushu, I forget his, Timothy the mouse, and Orange Bird. And this pack here is $30 and you could get two randomly selected pins. Hold on a sec, I really like these pins. So they are the topiaries. This one for Fantasia. We have Sorcerer Mickey, the broom. It's right, eh? Huh? It's like glitter. It's like glittery or like pearly. It's more like pearly. And then we have Spaceship Earth in the background. Pin this is pin. pin on pin, $18. We also got the Alice in Wonderland one. So it's Alice and the Mad Hatter. And over here is oh, the Beast and Belle from France Pavilion. 
These are limited release, by the way. And we have this one with the Mickey icon, or is it a mini icon? Don't know. But it has flowers, very glittery and cute. It's kind of 3D and it is $18. This is a big pin. It's a big pin. We have them, him sticking out of the flower pot. But what I like is that it's nice and pearly, just like the other one. And you see the glitter, that's Spaceship Earth, by the way. That is a big pin. I like this one. And it's also pin on pin because the little orange slice, you see that is a pin on pin element. It is, a, whoa, it's $40. Okay, so I guess since it's a big pin, <laughs> And those kind of slapping behind the camera, by the way. I wish you could see his face. But anyhow, we have this one. Uh, limited release and uh, nice and glittery there. $18 for $55. A limited release magic bin. I like the colors. It's like a muted orange with a, like a muted blue. It's not like so super poppy orange. And uh, yes, orange bird all over. Here's a Minnie Mouse pin. Look at her, so cute. We have yet to figure out the merchandise for Minnie Mouse. I'll show you in a second. It has Spaceship, Spaceship Earth. What am I saying? World Showcase in the background and it is 18. Is it possible for them to have a festival without these? The trash can salt and pepper shakers, how funny. It says Orange 71 because he was introduced in 1971. I think he opened with the car in Magic Kingdom. So very nice, totally appealing, appealing. Okay, and uh, let's see, life's full of zest. Okay, that's cute. It is $13, but they also have the one with Minnie Mouse and the, what is it, the butterflies. Butterfly. The butterflies, also for 13 Is this a pass holder? It is a pass holder, a pass holder merch item. Spring has sprung. I like this yellow. It's a very cute pastel yellow, if you know what I mean. It has the B, it is $35, and it looks like a shirt, a t-shirt I would enjoy very much. It looks very fresh right now, very fresh. These are the two pins for the B merchandise, and they are also exclusive to pass holders. And this one is a limited edition. It has some flowers, pin on pin element. I think World Choke is in the background, lots yeah. of glitter. And then this one here, he's kind of resting inside of a flower. Let love flower. Isn't that cute? So the limited edition is 20 and the other one 18. It is time for the Minnie Mouse merch. They have a spare jersey that features the beautiful Minnie Mouse. So the background says, set yourself free with World Showcase and butterflies. I love the colors. And then the front, look at her so chic with her hat and her little butterfly dress and her heels. She's wearing pink heels. I mean, she's fabulous. And over here, Epcot Flower and Garden Festival, very cute. And this one must be $80, I don't know. If you want to look like Minnie Mouse, you can with this hat. Look, embroidered a bee and some flowers, flower and garden, and a beautiful bow with world show. What is it? Yeah, world showcase world and showcase. butterflies. It is so cute with the pink. Oh my God, that is so cute. It is 35. This top here is $35 and it has it printed on there, World Showcase and Butterflies, but also embroidered butterflies. I love the pink. Oh yeah, it's like a little mini icon. I think this is for your garden. It's $35. It's something you just kind of like stick in the dirt. First time I've personally seen them sell this. A fresh flower bag for $20. You can see it illustrated there. And this is what it looks like. So I think you hang it right? Or you can not hang it. I don't know, however you want to do it. You can even gift like beautiful flowers to someone. It has a mini mouse in that design. I like it. A very heavy garden stepping stone for $30 with a little Mickey icon in the butterflies. And check out the mug with the butterfly handle for $20. Oh, there's Minnie Mouse. Oh, here it is, flower garden. A pretty keychain for probably $15 and also another plant or flower pot here. This one has the hole this time and you can actually take this out or put it back in if you need it, $30. Oh, look, embossed is Minnie Mouse or 3D is Minnie Mouse, set yourself free. Here is 
the cocoa mer or I'm gonna just imagine it's cocoa. I think it is. Or Mexico Pavilion. We'll figure it out in a sec. Las flores hermosas, the beautiful flower. Oh, they have the pronunciation and every the pronoun the tread what Trans Translation. Translation. Translation right down below. That's cool. This is the Turvis Tumbler for $35. The bucket hat for $35. And this is kind of like, I don't know, this has texture. Yeah, it's not puffy because it's like nice and hard. So it's not puffy. Yeah, like all throughout, like all of this. But it's uh, really nice. Oh, wait. It's uh, one of those reversible ones. That's pretty cool. Did I say the price already? $35? Here is the t-shirt in blue for $35. We have the guitar, Spaceship Earth. Oh wait, Spaceship Earth is nice and has some puffy print on it. And in an almost hot pink, we have this one with Las Flores Hermosas embroidered on there. And then it has these really cool buttons on the sides. I've never seen them do this. That's pretty cool and it's $35. Oh look, Flower and Garden Festival. What is this for? It's $20. I don't know what it's for. A little melamine plate here for $13. A fleece blanket all rolled up for $45. So it's like travel for travel. These are the new Dooney and Burke bag designs and they look very Florida-ish, if you know what I mean. And this one here is the tote bag with Orange Bird, of course, and the flower Spaceship Earth. And uh, this is a pretty big tote bag. Let's see the little tag. There's the Flower and Garden Festival tag. Let's see the price on these. You guys already kind of guessed what, okay, it's $298. And the inside, I'm gonna guess it's orange. Of course it's orange. This is the handbag, which you can also use use as a crossbody for $298. Also the camera bag for $228. It's always hard to try and show the Pandora charms here at Epcot because the case is very small and there's they're always showing um, guests the charms. So I'm just going to show you the print here that they have of the new charms. So on one side it's Orange Bird, on the other side it's a Flower and Garden Festival logo. And then they have a second charm here. And this one also Orange Bird on one side, the other side life's full of zest. time to go out into the wide open space and venture into Flower and Garden Festival and we are visiting our first topiary which is Mr. ML's favorite. It's Donald Duck and he has a bee on his forehead. You guys know we love our angry Donald but he is not angry here. He's very happy because it's the Flower and Garden. It's spring. It's spring. It's spring. It's, we need to be happy. And of course, right by Donald, it's Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Guys, there is the Groot Topiary, and that up there, the little mixtape rotates, but I don't hear any music coming out of it, but it is so cool. How cool is this? They have the Songbird Meadow, and what they do is that they provide shelter for them and also flowers or native plants so that they could provide food, right? So they have food and shelter. The birds have food and shelter. And we can hear the birds, right, Mr. ML? I think they should lower the volume of the music so we can better hear them, but I hear them inside of the little birdhouses. This is one of my favorite activities here at the Flower and Garden Festival, the Blossoms of Fragrance, presented by Scentsy. Let's go ahead and smell. So I'll smell and Mr. Emma will smell a different one. So this is the first one, Heirloom Rose. Yeah, it does smell like roses. All right, Mr. Emma. <laughs> Soft Plumeria, this is the Hawaiian flower. What do you think? Right? Oh, and by the way, guys, can we admire the view from here? That looks amazing. Hibiscus sunset. Oh, it smells really good, like a nice fruity, fruity drink. Glorious grapefruit, and yes, he's like, there's a little fan in there. What do you think? Grapefruit. I love mint. 
I always have mint with me and I like mint ice cream and just anything that tastes like mint. So I think I'm gonna like mint fields. Let's see. Yep, definitely mint. Okay, came to visit one of my favorite topiaries over at the Germany Pavilion and it is Dopey with Snow White. And then on the other side, oh my God, look at her beautiful shoe with the bow. Very cool. On the other side are the seven dwarfs or the six dwarfs because we already have Dopey. How cute is that? Look at Happy. All of them down in a row. Wait, that's not Happy. Wait, why am I confused? Yes, Mr. Emil, that's happy. Yes, and here's Grumpy. Got a hold of the Flower and Garden Festival passport. And by the way, the, the festival runs from February 28th to May 27th. And inside of the book, you guys will be able to see all of the topiaries and where they are, as well as other activities. Let me show you here. They also have where the gardens destinations are, the merchandise, also for tours, Garden Rock Concert Series, you can scan the QR code and they'll tell you what bands and singers are coming. And let's see what else. And then of course, all of the food. There are festival market booths throughout the festival and where they sell the Precious Moments dolls, I have nearby spotted. Japan yeah, nearby Japan Pavilion, they have topiaries. Topiaries for $55. Obviously, it, the, it hasn't grown yet, but you yes. take it home and you take care of it, you water it, and they have, oh, it's nice and wet. Okay, anyway, they have, oh, here's a mouse. I don't think it's Mickey Mouse exactly, but it's a mouse topiary. A Over here is a rabbit. We have an elephant, a turtle. What is that, a heart? Is that a heart? Yeah. And a duck, I think, turtle? Came to the French Pavilion and the Cogsworth and Lumiere topiary. Look so good. I mean, look at that. It moves and everything. And then Lumiere lights up because he's a candle, of course. Really, really did a good job with this. The endless fight between Peter Pan and Captain Hook. And one of my favorite topiaries as well, over here, TikTok. One of my favorite booths is usually the Canada Pavilion Northern Bloom one. And I usually like to get the beef tenderloin tips with mushroom sauce, with potatoes and garden vegetables for $7.25. Mr. Emil, on the other hand, got from the Honey Bistro, the chicken and waffles. It's crispy chicken and honey sweet cornbread waffle with whipped honey butter and spicy honey for $6.75. We'll see what he thinks. Okay, obtained the beef tenderloin tips, which I love. I really needed something savory. They look good. Let's go for the beef tenderloin tips. We're not gonna do the table situation because it's getting a little dark, but here we go. I'm gonna get a bite of everything, even with, oh, that's a large carrot. Hold on. Okay, now we get the bite. Always my go-to for the festival. I feel like I'm eating a meal. It's a small portion, but for me, it's a good portion. And the whipped um, mashed potatoes are very buttery and cheesy. I like it. Mr. Emil's turn. Go for it. The chicken and waffles. He, are you just going to take a bite of the chicken? Yeah. Okay. Now a bite of the waffle. <laughs> All right, Mr. Emil, what do you think? It's really good. It's really good? Yeah, it has the, even the pieces of of what? Corn. Oh, corn. I can, oh, because it's a corn it's waffle. A corn waffle. Yeah. It's a cornbread waffle. Yeah, but it tastes really good. It tastes really good. I'm not a chicken, uh, fried chicken person. I don't like fried chicken, but you, but you like, like it. Yeah, and you But like I do bread. like cornbread. Yeah. What do you think about the honey uh, fried chicken? It's really good, but it's a little... Um, mushy? Mushy. It's not like super crisp. It's not crispy no, it's not fried crispy. chicken. It's not crispy fried chicken. Not cri I, I can tell it. from here. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. I would say like seven. A seven? Yeah. 
In our next Epcot video, we'll come back, show you more merchandise, and also try more food from booths around World Showcase for the festival. But anyhow, if you haven't seen our last video where we go Disney resort hopping for the latest exclusive merchandise, you can check it out right up here. Or the one prior to that where we visit the Universal Studio Store right down here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I cannot wait to see you guys again very soon. Bye.